Amy Flint Hill, fourth grader, since Dr. Price, and I am going to bring you your math lesson for this week. We are headed into addition and subtraction, and we're going to start with adding with a thousand, ten thousand, and a hundred thousand. But first, we're going to do um, a little place value chart that's going to lead us into that. So it says to show 568,241 on our place value chart. So if we look, when we're talking about place value, we have a one and a one. We have four tens, two hundreds, eight thousand, six ten thousands, and five hundred thousands. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five in our hundred thousands. One, two, three, four, five. We wanted six in our ten thousands. Going to put eight in our thousand. I'm going to put two in the hundred. Oh, need to take one off. And then four in our tens. And last, we'll put one in our one. So, what is the value of each place value? And as we are looking and we use that term value, we're talking about how much something is worth. So in this case, we see that we have hundred thousands, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five hundred thousands. We have six ten thousands. Oops, gotta click it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thousand. Two hundred, one, two, three, four tens, and one one. Kind of an expanded form, but using words and numbers. So I'm just going to pick one because it's going to compare these numbers to begin with, which is another skill you learned just a couple weeks ago. So now we're going to compare the original number to our new number. So we have 568,241, and we have 841,256. And if you watched our videos from the last week or so, you'll know that you should start at the beginning of the number when you're going to compare. So in this case, we have a 5, and we have an 8 in the hundreds place, in the, sorry, in the hundred thousands place. So that tells us that 500,000 is definitely less than 800,000. And we would choose the symbol that has the little birdie beak is what I call it. The little birdie beak always points to the little number. The giant big old alligator mask points to the larger number. So we're saying that 568,241 is less than 841,256. So now it wants us to try another. This chart shows 15,112, and it wants us to add 10,000. So when we're looking at this, 15,000 is going to come in where we have one 10,000. I wish I could write on that. Let's flip it this way for a minute. We would have one 10,000. We have one, two, three, four, five thousand. So when we add 10 and five together, that's where we're coming up with the 15,000. Just in case you may have been a little confused. So we have 15,100, one ten, two ones is 10, 11, 12. And it wants us to add a 10,000. So we're going to add a 10,000 to our place value chart. Now, we're looking at our number 15,112. And we want to add one 10,000 to this number. How would we do that? Well, we're going to look at the 15 and the 10. 
And we can just say that 15 and 10 is 25. Make sure I added that right in my head. Sometimes it messes me up. And 102. I bet it's going to fuss because I didn't put my comma and I put 10 and 1. So let's try that again. Got to have your comma or it'll tell you it's wrong. Okay. So now our place value chart shows a different number. 399,465. And it wants us to add a thousand. So I'm going to come to the place value chart. I'm going to find our thousand. We're going to add that thousand. That's pretty simple. But now we're going to have to bundle when we add this thousand. So you're looking at taking your number and basically we're going to add a thousand. Just in case you're a little confused, we're going to add a thousand. So how do I do that? So let's start looking for the one. We have five ones. We don't have anything to bundle. You only bundle when you get to 10 or more. We have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. We don't have to bundle. Four hundreds, so I don't have to bundle. But when I get to my thousands, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are going to have to bundle, so you cannot have a 10 in a place value chart. 10 would hold, 10 is two digits, one and zero, so it would hold two places. So we've got to take one, 10,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, and we're going to turn it into another from 10, one, 10 one thousands to a 10,000. But now we've got another problem. We have 10 10 thousands and we can't leave that in there. So we're going to bundle. I think we're going to bundle. The 10 pins a little off. And we're going to turn that 10,000 into 100,000. So now, what is 1,000 more than 399,465? And you would write that as 399,465 plus 1,000 more. So we're basically showing you how to add by using a place value chart and not quite doing it with the algorithm yet. So what is this? plus a thousand. 399,465 plus a thousand. We're going to come to our place value chart where we bundled all the way across and we're going to count one, two, three, four. We have four hundred thousand. We have zero ten thousands. I can't forget that. I have zero thousands. I'm going to put a comma because I know I have three numbers left. I have four, one, two, three, four, four hundreds. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. And I have five, one, two, three, four, five ones. Okay, so we're going to stop this lesson and our next lesson for the week, our second lesson, we will continue from here. So you guys have a great afternoon.